All right, let's talk breaking news. If you're watching live on YouTube, it's breaking specifically. Um, we're going to get into the Final Four. We're going to pick our games. We're actually going to talk about our All-American teams, our, our season-ending awards at CBSSports.com as well. But shortly before we were scheduled to go on the air a few minutes ago, Butler fired Laval Jordan. So he is out. Why today? Well, because today is the day that Laval Jordan's buyout dropped significantly. And so it's kind of a rough deal overall because that staff, and I'd actually been talking with uh, members of that staff in recent days and recent weeks, they had just been waiting and waiting and they weren't sure whether or not Laval was going to be safe. You know, they basically were hoping to get through final four weekend, maybe to buy Monday. And if that were to happen, he'd be safe. Not the case whatsoever. Uh, a little bit of a rough look for Barry Collier. Some Butler fans, I understand, you're gonna be you're gonna be happy about this because you know the program in recent seasons. I, I get all that, but uh, Laval Jordan was 87 and 73 past two seasons, 10 and 15, COVID year, and this past season 14 and 18. But he did have that team clearly on pace to make the tournament in 2020. Had it not been canceled, and had him to the tournament in his first year there. Your initial reactions off of Laval being out at Butler, how surprising and, you know, what do, what do we think is next here? Not totally surprising. Uh, two consecutive losing seasons, uh, five years where he went 83 and 74, following in Chris Holtman's footsteps, a very underrated coach, I might add. Yes. Chris Holtman, uh, who was 70 and 31 before he got plucked by the Buckeyes. So some high standards at Butler. And I, and I think... You know, there were some circumstances where maybe Laval Jordan didn't get enough opportunity, but it's a it's a very proud program. They should be consistently having winning seasons and consecutive losing seasons. Um, yeah, I, th I think, you know, this was kind of expected. Yeah, I uh, to a certain I agree with you. It's more expected than not. But there still was a curiosity. And, and weirdly enough, I mean, th on Thursday, we had all these press conferences with the team. So Mark Emmert spoke dan gavitt was there and so most of the members of the selection committee were actually in the room at the caesar superdome butler athletic director barry collier was there i was actually talking with uh with jeff goodman and i was like should we go up and ask him if he's going to fire laval jordan tomorrow now we didn't do that but i i was seriously considering doing it because again the buzz behind the scenes had been growing for this um so he's out uh, by my count, this is now the 50th job across men's D1 that has opened with Butler coming open here. And I got, I've got i got a few names, including the name that I think is actually going to get the job, but some names to consider. I'll give you five of them. Yeah. I gave you three on HQ, and I've got two more that I, that I toss out. Uh, long shot, but maybe some of them might get a look, is John Gross. Um, I wonder if Ronald Norred will get an interview former butler player has you know coached in the g league and been involved in that side of it and has interviewed in men's division one for jobs there in recent years ronald norad might be your your deep sleeper there uh three other candidates to consider drew valentine at loyola chicago now he just finished his first year he got him to the tournament he's a he's a star on the, he's a coaching star on the rise don't know if this will happen immediately but I, I do think that he'd be one under consideration maybe mark schmidt at saint bonaventure another name those are four but the name that i actually think is going to get it and i i've i've, I've seen uh, the chat right now god bless the chat brad stevens the butler i'm actually brad stevens is not going to be one of my five names i was going to throw it in i really was brad stevens is not one of the five names although you want to talk about an all-time stunner stunner not Brad Stevens. Jeff Bowles at Ohio. Yeah. Here's I talked to a few sources. Here's what actually is going to happen. Thad Mata, I think, might transition into the athletic department because there's been some buzz about Thad Mata. Would he be the guy to get the Butler job? I actually think there's a good chance that he transitions to work for Butler but not as the head coach. And then Bowles, who's a former assistant under Thad Mata, Jeff Bowles is your next head coach at Butler. That's my guess as of today to me. And in talking to sources, he would be the leading candidate to get the Butler job. We'll see what plays out over the next day or two, four, five, six days. It's certainly going to be, uh, be pretty interesting.